In this video, I'll show you how to remove the coupon field from your cart page using two different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, we'll be using two different methods. So the first method is we'll actually replace the cart page with a sliding cart. So whenever a customer clicks on the cart page, here we'll open this sliding cart. And as you can see, there's no coupon field. There is an option to enable the coupon field, but I've disabled it for this particular video. So this is a much more streamlined user experience as it reduces the number of steps that a user needs to take to actually check out it. So this should help increase your conversion rate since all they have to do is review the item in cart and then just go ahead and navigate to the checkout okay and then the second method is we'll be removing this coupon field with a bit of custom code okay so here as you can see there's no um, coupon code okay so the first method as i said is we'll be replacing the cart page with this sliding cart okay and to do this we'll be using the we suite all-in-one at checkout plugin i'll leave the link in the description below or you can head over to all-in-one at checkout.com there's a free and a pro version the free version should be more than enough to achieve this particular task okay so with that said let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started okay so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one at checkout plugin we just need to go ahead and upload that plugin so we'll go plugins add new go ahead and install and activate the plugin once you've done so you'll see this wee sweet menu here go ahead and click on aio checkout okay for all-in-one at checkout then we'll click on mini cart. We'll go ahead and enable our mini cart option. Then we can choose a position so we can display it on the left or on the right. A lot of these options I'm going to ignore for now. We can add stuff such as a free shipping progress bar. This will help um, increase your average order value if you've got a free shipping threshold since the customer will be able to visually see how much more they need to spend to unlock free shipping. Okay, so I'm going to enable this option here. So whenever a customer adds an item to cart, it will automatically open up a side cart. And we'll go ahead and enable this option to override um, the cart icon. So whenever a customer tries to visit the cart page, instead, it will just open up a side cart. Okay, so we'll enable this option. Okay, so here we just need to enter in the ID or the class name. And I'll quickly show you how you can find that in just a second. But we skipped over this section here where it says enable coupon field. We just need to make sure this is disabled okay so now i'll just quickly show you how you can get the class name or the id for your mini cart area okay so let's head over to our store page we'll right click this section here go ahead and click inspect and then we'll click this selector icon here and then we'll just make sure that we've got this cart area here okay so straight away we can see that there's a class name called a cart contents so we can just copy this okay and if it's a class we'll use a period before the class name and if it's an id we'll add a hash um, before the name okay so let's head back over to our dashboard and in here we just want to add dot since it's a class and then we'll just add the class name okay so then we'll just save changes okay and now when we refresh this page here you can see our mini carts loading fine okay so this is a great alternative so we can add various different upsells within this cart area as i said we can enable the free shipping progress bar let's just do one quick change whilst we're here let's enable the free shipping progress bar and let's enable the quantity picker as well so let's save changes and now let's refresh this page Okay, so as I said, it's a much more streamlined user experience. So the customer can increase the quantity, they can reduce the quantity or just remove the item completely. Okay, and then when they're ready, they can just proceed to the checkout page. Okay, so this is method one. And now method two, we'll be using some custom coding to remove the coupon field from our cart page. Okay, so we've got a few options in terms of where we can add this custom code. So we can add it within our theme functions.php. So we'll navigate to appearance and then theme file editor. Then we can just navigate to functions.php. Personally, if you're going to use this method, I recommend using a child theme. So whenever that main theme that you use in update, you won't actually lose the changes. Okay. And as always, whenever messing with code, I strongly recommend that you create a backup of your site first. Okay. And for this particular code that we'll be using i'll leave a link in the description below to the article containing the code okay 
Okay, so I'm not going to use the theme function that PHP, but if you were to use it, you can just go ahead and add it, add the code here. Okay, but I'm going to use a code snippet plugin. So to add a code snippet plugin, just navigate to your plugins, add new, go ahead and search for a code snippet plugin. Okay, there's a few of them that all pretty much do the same thing. So just choose one and then we can add our custom code. Okay, so to do so, I'm using code snippets. We'll just navigate over snippets here and then just click add new. I've already got it open in the new tab. This is the code that we'll be using. Okay. Firstly, we can give it a name. Again, this is just for internal purposes. So we can say disable. So it makes sense to give it a descriptive name. So whenever you're viewing all your snippets at a glance, you know exactly what each snippet's doing. Okay. So we can just go ahead and save and activate. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and refresh our cart page and see if this coupon field is still available. Okay. And as we can see, there's no coupon field. So those are two solid methods in how you can actually disable the coupon field on a cart page in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below.